Hello and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for dropping by. Today we're going to take a look at a brand that I've not really looked at before and isn't spoken about a lot here in the UK and that is Festina. Um, it's originally a Swiss watch company founded in 1902. I think they believe they're based in uh, Spain now and I managed to get this diver for a steal of a price, well dive looking watch, for £45 reduced on Amazon. It is the F20360 stroke 3. I believe the stroke 3 is the colour. Uh, there's three versions of this watch. Just have a look. Oh, well. Oh, look at that for a great box. Lovely box. Oh, and here we go. Uh, international guarantee. I believe it's a two year warranty. I need to check that. Now, this is the green version. As I say, I got it for £45, and they're normally about £130. Uh, and, yep. F20360 stroke 3, £129. There we go. Fantastic. I love the packaging. This padded box and everything. It's wonderful. Right, I will get the packaging off that, and then we'll take a look at the watch. Wow, that was a challenge getting some of that packaging off, to be quite honest. It's certainly well wrapped. So let me clear this away and we'll take a look at the watch. Right, so here's the watch, the Festina Sport Watch, F20360-3. The three uh, meaning it's green. There are two other colours in the, uh, this range. There is a black version and a blue version. Um, Diver Style Watch. Now, I got this from Amazon at a really good price of £45, which is $52. However, I have noticed that the price on these do seem to fluctuate. So I'll put a link in the description. Uh, so you need just to check out uh, what the deal is on the day. Um, they retail £129, so that's what, $135, $140. But you'd be, you, you seem to be able to get a good deal on this particular watch. So definitely check out the link and see what prices are going around at the moment. Now it is a big watch, so we've got a 44 mil uh, diameter. So that's great for somebody like me with an eight inch wrist. It's a 52 mil lug to lug, so this sits large, but it sits quite flat on the wrist as well. Um, and it's not ideal for small wrists, I don't think. Uh, but the lugs do drop down at the end, as you can see. So it does wrap around really nicely. I'll show you what it looks like on my wrist after. Um, it's 13 mil thick. So not the thickest uh, watch in the world. It is a quartz. Uh, 22 mil band, which goes down to 19 when it meets the class. So it does slim down a lot. Um, but it's a nice large watch and it does look good on the wrist. Now it's stainless steel construction, which is great. Um, it's polished on the sides, as you can see there, a nice polish. However, on the top of the body of the watch, it is a brush sort of matte finish, which meets the bracelet really nicely. So they've matched that. It's really good, it sort of blends in just where the lugs meet. Uh, we've got a crown guard on the side. Sign crown, which is nice, the F for Pestina. And then a black uh, plastic grooved collar around to aid when setting the watch. Um, so that's really nice and easy to do. Something that's not always the case. Uh, and I've got some watches that I've got to review where it's a real problem to try and set the time. Now, the bezel stainless steel as well. Uh, this one's in green, obviously. With 10 round to 50 on the bezel uh, with a loom pip at the 12 o'clock. Now, the bezel can look black in certain lights. If I catch it just right, you might be able to see it does actually look black. I don't know if that's meant to happen or not. On the description on Amazon, it says the bezel was stationary, but it's not. 
It's a 60 click rotational with unidirectional bezel, which is really nice. Uh, so that was a really nice surprise. I was expecting it to be fixed uh, and it's not. So that's, uh, that's a win. I don't know how many people would really use this for diving particularly, but great if you're just doing the parking meter. Uh, so that was a real win. And the bezel is really thin uh, compared to some of the other bezels that I've got on dive watches. So it's uh, a little difficult to turn sometimes. Um, just getting enough play sort of grip on it can be a little difficult to turn, but I can't imagine people turning an awful lot. Um, it is a nice turn when you do though. Really solid click. Uh, crystal, mineral crystal with a cyclops over the date. Now the date window on the dial is quite small, so this cyclops helps, whereas sometimes the date window can be quite large and then you put a cyclops on it, it more or less goes blurry. But this one actually seems to be really nicely sized, so that's a win. Although, as a preference, I don't tend to like cyclops, but it uh, looks good on this one. Now the dial, you've probably seen already, is green with an unusual type of banding to give a sort of 3D effect on it. I'm not quite sure how they've done that. I don't think it's actually ridged. I think it's printed, but um, it looks really good and catches the light really well. And it is also much more of a mid-green than the bright green that is shown on the Amazon page. Uh, so it's much more of a mid-green. So a better colour than the really sharp green sometimes you get on some dive watches. It's a, it looks a bit classier, to be quite honest. Indices are all loomed. And nice silver edging. We've got the large flat one uh, at the six and the nine, and then a sort of double one on the at the twelve, and then the three is smaller to allow for that uh, silver edge date window. We've got minute markers on the outside of the indices, and then every five minutes we've got the little red marker to highlight that as well. Festina printed on the dial. Uh, on the logo above the pinion, and then quartz 10 bar underneath. Hands are somewhat different, with a short, large arrow hand for the hour, and a longer, slimmer sort of fence post uh, minute hand. Now, both are loomed on the infill part of the hands because they're hollow from the pinion part of the way up. It looks really good. It's, a, it's unusual, but it looks really good. Um, well, the second hand is a slim needle with a lollipop just outside the range of the indices and that has got loom on it as well. Now the loom is good when when uh, when it's lit up. I'll show you that. I'll put something just on the screen just to show you what it looks like. I have got watches that have got better loom for sort of longevity, uh, but this does look good when it's uh, when it's loomed up. So on the case back, we've got a stainless steel case, 10 atmospheres, water resistant, and the Festina coat of arms with registered model collection F20360 on the back. It's a screw down case back. It looks really good actually, and I do prefer matte case backs to uh, very shiny ones that just seem to get sweat and dirty. This looks really nice. Now the bracelet you can see from there is hollow end links, which is a bit of a shame. Here we've got the Festina on the pressed clasp. It just pops in. And then there's a little security over the top with the Festina F on it. As I say, about 19 mil at that point before the clasp. And it looks really good with that matte and polished finish. Uh, solid links, really nice. Now I didn't have to change this with an eight inch wrist to be quite honest. So I was really pleased about that. And we've also got four holes of micro adjust as well. And it's a great watch, a great watch. Now, obviously it's a dive style watch, so you could wear this for business quite happily. Um, and it looks really smart. Uh, probably a sort of everyday watch. Yes, you could go diving with it. It's got hundred meters of water resistance, but it's not a true dive watch. Now this sits very nicely on my eight inch wrist, as I say. It does sit quite flat, but those lugs coming down do help that. Probably not one for a smaller wristed person. Um, it's a really good watch and I'm really pleased with it. Now, a few niggles. Mm. Well, some people might not like the banding on the dial, and I get that. 
um, but check out the other two colours, you might prefer one of those. I only went for green just because I haven't really got a green dive watch, so that's the reason I went for that. Plus, with the price at the time, was fantastic. Um, again, Cyclops sort of splits people. Now, it is quite a heavy watch, um, and some people might not like that, but I'm okay. Now, the clasp could be better. Be nice to have some security pushes just on the side there rather than this one, but it sits just fine. Not had an issue with it. And um, the crystal isn't sapphire, but really, I, you can't really moan at that sort of price. Um, if you paid full price for it, yes, you can get watches uh, with sapphire crystal on for that price. Now, it's just a brand that's probably not held in high regard in the UK, possibly, but they've got a lot of back history. Um, and it certainly made, made me look at their other watches, so I'm keeping an eye out for any more bargains for that. If you are setting up a budget watch collection, I definitely recommend this as a really nice diver's watch. It looks really good on wrist. Uh, as I say, check out the Amazon link and see if what price it's on, and check out their other watches. I hope the review's been useful. If it has, please hit the like button. That would really help me. And please subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks very much.